<gasps> oh. Oh, we're gonna read a story. Oh! Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Ooh. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known. Oh. Even to myself. Oh. It is in that way that my book is special. Mm -hmm. It is in that way that you are special. <gasps> I, you, I know I'm special. There is no story. Oh. Chapter one. Oh. Hi. Mm. Welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy, and today we're playing a game called Beacon Pines. Um, I will finish the Callisto Protocol. I just didn't have time to finish... A chapter of Callisto Protocol today, so we're gonna just play something different. Normal isn't what it used to be. We're gonna play something very different. <laughs> this is a story about change. Oh. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Oh. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader. He's here for a reason. Look at Luca. Oh, look at him. Oh. Oh, I walk. Do I click? Enter? Space? Oops. Interact is E. <laughs> hey, Dad. How are things going? Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. No. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. <gasps> Feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. It's a very beautiful tree. Me too. Eh. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Lolo was Luca's closest friend. Oh. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. <laughs> like his little, like, smug attitude. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. I finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes. Oh. And the flowers on the grave. Oh. Wow, this art is so beautiful. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now Now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just... Missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. <gasps> the plot thickens. Okay, dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, look how pretty. Tickle! Oh my god! So cute! Oh, what's this? You got like a Wonderful. badge. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm oh, is a very special a charm. Thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay. Anything? Oh my god, so cute! Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. <laughs> I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Oh, look to the side suspiciously. Oh. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran then, then we can head out. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know, I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. 
Just meet me at the side when you're done. Suit yourself, I won't be long. Tell Gren before heading out. Oh, we have a task. Very cool. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more uh -huh. of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Oh! Some of them can be found in this very house. What? Oh, I love that. Just some dusty knickknacks. Okay. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, <gasps> and more covered in flowery fabric. I love this narrator. Her voice sounds so good. Oh, look how cozy this place One is. Of his father's old stethoscopes. Oh, he was a doctor? Countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Oh. Oh, you can sit! Oh, look! So cute! Oh, we got a, another charm! Yay! Oh! <laughs> Oh, and then he just slides right out. That's so cute. Lit the fire. Mm -hmm. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so cozy. Okay, let's go in here first. See if Gran is in here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. That is very organized. I like it. Scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Hmm. Oh, we had another one. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I can't keep the water running like that. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Oh, it's the only thing she brought. Wow. Uh, let's see if she's upstairs first. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. Oh. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Uh -huh. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Uh -huh. She said as she packed away all her dildos. <laughs> oh, is this our room? Gran's bed was undisturbed. No. Oh, it's okay. It's Gran and Luca share a room. That's cute. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. No, he could read late into the night. No, that's cute. So she must be in the back. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. <gasps> yes, look. First day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Oh, so cute. Chill. Oh, I love this. Gran Moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Mm. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Mm. <gasps> what a cute sweater! Oh, I want that. So cozy. It's actually been surprisingly like snowy where I live this year. Oh my! This is quite exciting. And I love it. I'm now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. Oh. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. <gasps> there are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Oh. Step forth, dear reader. Okay. Here I go. Hi, Gran. Oh, look, she's beautiful. Oh my god. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Okay. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, uh, nowhere special. The better for everyone involved. True, 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 true. We were just gonna go. Oh. I love that. Let's do chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. We get to use the charms in our story. Uh, we were just gonna go chill for the day. Lies are built on truth. Yeah. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. 
we stick to what we're good at. <laughs> well, make sure you are done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Oh. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. Nice. That is the power of charms. <gasps> a single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle. Oh. Whoa. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. Okay. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. Oh. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to we go, can go back. back. And oh. Turns, creating new branches. Oh my god, that's Lucky so cool. Us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Nice. A grand jury. That's so cute. We were just gonna go ponder. Can I change it? I'll just. We can just I leave it? Go chill for the day. <laughs> the best lies are built on. I didn't want to change it. I like that one. Okay. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Hmm. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. Aww. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Oh no, is this gonna be like... Bambi? I'm... not emotionally ready for something like that. <laughs> a sturdy old wheelbarrow. Okay. Let's go find- oh! Oh, and Luca, you and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. <laughs> That's cute. You know I'm gonna get that um, task done. Okay, I just wanna explore. I, I really like to collect things. If you give me a system where I can collect things, I'm gonna try to collect them all. <laughs> come on, come on! Woo! <laughs> Dang it, Rollo. <laughs> For a town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. What? Oh, it's so cute! Okay, we gotta follow. <laughs> was that a turning point? You know the drill! Don't let anyone discover our secret path. <laughs> Two. Oh, chapter two. Okay. Should I keep going? Mm. Let's do one Welcome more chapter. Pines. Okay. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. Hmm. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and in the six years and his sudden death, everyone was simply trying to get by. Oh. Should we talk to everyone first? Or should I just... Should I just go? Oh, I can talk to them, though. Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Fair Augustus Valentine was not busy. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I... It's Mayor Valent... <sighs> Flustered, Gus instinctively <laughs> loosened his tie. Keep up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? <laughs> it's nothing. Keep at it. All right. What can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh, uh, just saying hi, I guess. Hmm. Well, good day to you too, young Mister Van Horn. <laughs> Oh, cute! Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, Paul. Pal. CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. Oh, a CEO. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. He looks like a CEO. <laughs> After the failing of Valentine fertilizer, is he a hyena? The town was <laughs> to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh, um, sure. Come on, now when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty all right. You're gosh dang right it is. <laughs> Looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. Okay, what a creep. 
I couldn't keep Rollo away if I tried. Excellent. Sorry, Luca, I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. Ho oh, now! <laughs> the left side's a little low. Okay, before we go over there, let's just go... Oh my god, hi! You're so cute! Hey, Jetson! Is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about the catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. Oh, that reminds me. If you ever want his chair back, I've taken to standing recently. Keeps me from falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Oh, that is so precious. Did he go this way? It's gotta be. Uh... It's a secret path, right? Oh, there he is! Oh, what? Oh, nice! What? No charm? Okay. That's fine. Whoa. Uh, let's After keep Luke's exploring. Passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. Hank Atomic Star Scraper. Time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Oh. That's a good friend. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. That's kind of creepy. Aliens. <laughs> always thinks it's aliens. It's because it is. Luca's winter <gasps> coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Mm. That's so cute. Oh, I can... Oh, I can step out here. That's so cute. Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? You know, the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kind of. <laughs> that place has been empty since... Since the foul harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around at that place? We would. Rolla, we would. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere, and it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now that you think about it, Poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go! Oh, yes, so cute. Oops. Nice. Uh, is there something back here? Oh. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious Who's old materials Jeff? to add to the treehouse. Oh, is the treehouse old Jeff? Okay. Wait, what if I splashed around? <laughs> Why is this so cute? Okay, anyway. <laughs> um... Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, Aww. it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. <gasps> oh. Oh, is that his dad? Oh, I can jump! I didn't even realize! Go pick out your bait from the tackle box, buckaroo. Tackle box. I got it. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Oh! <gasps> Junk. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. Oh my god. The fish could resist a nice shoestring. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh. Oh. 
you'll have to reel it in a bit faster or you catch oh okay so i probably have to luca tied a what fish could re i have to uh reel it in when it bops right oh i should have <laughs> stopped when it uh, okay third time's a charm i can do this what fish could Let's try this again. <gasps> oh, a boot! Nice. What do you think the other one is? Hard to say. Something's drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is... I hope that other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. <gasps> That's such a cute thing. It, should I just keep going? Luca tied a shoe. What fish could? Or, or maybe it's gonna give me the boot again. Oh, I see. Okay, so what if I did tickle? Oops. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Oh, Good so cute. I love that. Oh. I love fishing. It's a rubber ducky. Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you I'd turn up. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. <laughs> Looks like we could use some new bait. What do you say we head out and find some more? Okay. Oh, <gasps> cute. Okay. Oh, there he is. What's this? Oh, look at him. Oh, it's so cool. Just leaning. Very nice. Okay. Let's just go to Rolo. I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on. I'll catch up. Do we just go this way? <laughs> I don't even know where to go. What? Um, get into trouble with Rolo. Should I just talk to people? Well, I wanna. Do I go this way? Oh, Luca, just the fella I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? All right. Rendezvous with Roxy. Rendezvous with Roxy. Oh, she's cute. This is an important the turning point. Oh. Where your charms will change the course of fate. Okay. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Oh, okay. No fear. We can always return later using the chronicle once we find more charms. Okay. Well, now I'm just rambling. <laughs> have you seen my blockhead brother today? Oh, is that Rolo's brother? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? <gasps> Luca, wait up! I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. <laughs> Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around the corner, isn't she? <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Don't mind me just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? <laughs> Couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna level with ya. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. 
We all gotta pick up the slack since the fowl harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic's shrink array. All the more reason to keep on digging. There's gotta be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not gonna catch hell again up because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. <gasps> Turning point. <laughs> as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Oh shit. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. Oh. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. He found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining, and we just want to take it easy. She just goes, psh, 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 psh. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. <gasps> March, you big oaf. Aw, oh, rats. I expect a full report about the flat Valentine place. A full report! <gasps> we have to go alone? Investigate the Valentine warehouse alone. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Oh, she's so cute! Nope. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, like you wanted to invite her? That's cute. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do, given time. A bit much, if you ask me. <laughs> Indulgent. Okay. <laughs> Let's just explore a little bit. Hey. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. <laughs> the two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh. Ooh, this is getting good. <laughs> and who are you? Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You be safe now. Oh, coffee shop. And who's this? The Beacon the Beacon. Wilder ran the local paper of record. Ah. The Beacon Beacon. <gasps> Cute. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News! <laughs> The beacon, beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Mm, nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of the town. The winds of change are blowing, and change is a dangerous animal. Change? Okay. Okay, let's uh, go this way, I guess. Oh, hello. <gasps> Look at him. Hey, Solomon. Apologies, no time for chit chat. Why does he remind me of Levi Ackerman? <laughs> Is this it? Hardware closed down about a oh. year ago. Oh. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When oh. there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Oh. Library. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. I'll check back again later. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, what a deep voice. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. I promise Fran regretted the second it was made. <laughs> That's cute. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. <laughs> uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> part of 
Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. Oh. It didn't see much use. <laughs> yeah, because... Who are people going to call out to? Oh, look at him. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? <laughs> oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into weak wood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Oh, so cute. Uh, oh, I see a beehive. I don't know which way to go. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Oh, hmm. That's strange. Uh, is this weep wood? The path <gasps> led into a small hollow at the edge of weep wood. Oh, okay. No turning back now. Oh, caution. Electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Oh, <laughs> touch it. Okay, so what would Rolo do if Luca he was here? Luca asked himself what Rolo would do. <laughs> WWRD? So that he could roll what would Rolo do? I'm definitely not touching that thing. <laughs> oh, what's this? <gasps> As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Oh. Two bulbs remained. Oh, very nice. That, Cause that's how electric fences work, right? Okay. The fences buzzing gave way to silence. Nice. Okay. Moment of truth. Nice. Every kid Ooh. in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. Mm. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Weird. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on was here? one way to find out. Oh, what is that? Oh, and these trees are kind of weird looking, aren't they? The purple ones? The water looked almost diseased. Oh. It flowed slowly into the woods. Oh, no. <gasps> That's what's causing the foul harvest. What's that, oh, like, green sound. fumes coming out? It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Mm. <gasps> wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here <laughs> to smell it with me. He'd have no problem poking around in there. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's try going inside. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. Yeah. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. Oh. <gasps> Hello? Oh! Oh! Shit! <laughs> the heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. What? Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. Oh my god! Him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Uh, Luca watched his fingers aliens. trails in the dirt as the oh. hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab. Oh no! This is a story about change. This is a okay. story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. What? There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. What? We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just from here on I just out, know a charm it. will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Okay. Now, let's try something different. I don't know if I can oh <laughs> that's great let's try the rendezvous with roxy shit oh 
<laughs> in the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> Did he hit her? Make a break for it! What have you done? Ah! <laughs> Did that little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerps! You gotta come home eventually! <gasps> oh! Oh, Solomon! Oh, nice! Okay, wait, did it say something else? Oh, okay. You okay? Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited sometimes. Oh, look at him! So cute! A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all? No. That is truly a shame. Oh. Your mother has taken residence to keep house. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house? Yeah. And how is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm -hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Oh. Oh, is that the father? Whoa. Is that a husky? Solomon. Solomon. A gesture toward the approaching <coughs> Valentine. Oh, Eris. Speak of the devil. Solomon, do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Damn, she looks so cute. Apologies, Eris. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Oh, okay, bye. I don't know. I'm, I'm good. Oh! Oh no, again? <laughs> Kinda in a hurry right now. <laughs> Boy's got too much of his father in him. Oh, oh! I win. A little help. I am the champion. We were racing. Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. <laughs> You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. <laughs> Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution. Electric electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I got this. Oh <laughs> Why did you do that? Pa, we said you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Great, what now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. <laughs> I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. From a safe distance. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Whoa, you're a genius. I know. I've never done this before, but oh. Oh, I didn't realize they were mushrooms. <laughs> Okay. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. Oh, here we go. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Oh. Check it out! Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. 
Oh no, don't do it. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble. Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. <laughs> Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Oh god. Oh no, he does the thing. Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. Oh no. No dice. It won't budge. Oh well. <gasps> what? This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. It's shit. <laughs> Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rolo. It would be my honor to throw you in the trash. <laughs> okay. Come on, Lady Luck. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. <laughs> a good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. <gasps> Are those... Walkie talkies, just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Does these do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? <laughs> this is Hank Atomic. Ground command. You're coming in five by five. <laughs> how um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? <laughs> it's getting a little stuffy in here. <laughs> Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> The footsteps. Oh, what was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Oh, jeez. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Oh, danger. Oh, my God. Uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Is that a body? The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Oh, God. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? <laughs> when the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Aha! Uh -huh. It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Oh my god. Dr. Prescott Deep Engineering? It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. There is no need to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, calm down. <laughs> you don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. <laughs> Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Uh, ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a hand. I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for your lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? <laughs> Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run! <laughs> Actually, either way, haul ass! Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. <gasps> Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. Oh. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen... So really? He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. He's in there alone with it. 36, 36, All the way to a hundred. Thick 
stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. <gasps> Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. Aww. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Really? Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Oh. Chapter three. Chapter three. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. <gasps> wow, that was so great. I never expected it to be like this. Um, it's so cute and so so engaging, and I love the charms uh mechanic of it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye, guys.